How are you doing today, sir? Good seeing you. Long time no see. What's on your shirt? Uh, it's a little Schwarzenegger from Total Recall. Got it. Nice. Good seeing you. How are you? I'm sorry you're not in this empty chair in front of me. I'm doing very well. I hope you and your family are also doing extremely well. And I like you, Thanos, and I like your Ed 209. Yeah. Was Shang-Chi dusted in the blip? I don't want to answer that question because I want people to see the movie. This movie has one of my deepest cut blip references, Easter eggs in it. And I don't know if you've you noticed it or not, but I love it. And it is obscure. And I want to see if we can bring it into other movies. Um, but let's let people see the movie and decide. I, I need to watch it. When I watch it again, I now will be looking closer. It's Did a visual. Can... It's purely, I'll give you a hint. It's purely visual. It's not, it's not a, it's not a dialogue reference. It's a visual reference. Got it. Um, did you guys consider uh, using Chung chi in the way Black Panther was introduced into the MCU as like a supporting character in a previous movie? Or was it always the intention of introducing him, solo movie, this is where you're going to get him? Solo movie was always the intention. Now, that doesn't mean the intentions don't change sometimes, as they did with, with Black Panther when we, when we decided to make Civil War. Um, but in this case, it was always... It was always Shang-Chi because as, as you see the movie, um, what we love about it is not just uh, the individual character of Shang-Chi, but the world that he is from and the family sort of Shakespearean element of his entire uh, family history. Do you guys envision Shang-Chi as a trilogy? We always make a movie with the intention of trying to make it well enough that people are very interested to see more stories. And if they are, then we then we uh, will tell more. Got it. So you're not going to you're not going to answer this one. No, I just did. What are you talking no, about? But you, know, you know what I mean? Like, I would love to know if like uh, anyway, you did. But I uh, anyway, I was hoping you'd. Uh, who wins in a fight between Shang-Chi and Thor or Shang-Chi and Hulk? I'm just curious about his power level as compared to some of the other MCU characters. Well, I think there I think, you know, who wins in a in a fight, Tony Stark or. Hulk. Well, is Tony Stark wearing a suit or is he not in the suit? Um, I think there are various power levels that you see in this movie of Shang-Chi. Um, at his most powerful, he's Shang-Chi is pretty darn powerful. Uh, but so is the Hulk. So, you know what's the most disappointing answer? It would be a draw. Right. <laughs> That's sure. the worst answer. They used to do that in the comics with team-ups. Remember that? And then it'd be a draw and you'd go, I don't yeah. like that. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm very happy that What If, by the way, is on the air. I just have to say that. Oh, thank um, you. Do you think that, when do you think we might be getting another Avengers type movie? Do you think it's like four years away, five years, more? We want there to be a reasonable amount of time from the end game to, to start, uh, to start a, a new saga, which is already underway and already started. Um, and then you need some time, as we did in phase one, to build that saga before you start uh, start um, uh, bringing everybody together. Every day I see on Twitter, people wondering when are when is the Spider-Man trailer gonna drop? So I'll ask you, when do you think the Spider-Man and the Doctor Strange 2 trailers, when do you think they might drop? Uh, they will both be coming out before the movie comes out. We'll have the trailer come out first and then before the movies. <laughs> so if you look at the release date for the movies, you go, well, definitely be before that. Right, got it, okay. Good. Got it. Um, I am curious, uh, what is the status of your script, the Star Wars script with Michael? Uh, let me ask that. Uh, in, in, in the works, in process. Uh, is it, uh, do you envision that, can I ask, is that a, can you at least say, is it a solo movie or is it one of these things that could be a, a movie and a Disney Plus thing? It is not about Han Solo. Han Solo is not in it, no. <laughs> Got it. Well, now that it's come out that Anthony is, returning for Captain America 4. Do you already have a release date in mind? Yes. I mean, we always we always uh, work towards release dates. It doesn't mean they don't shift and change, certainly as we've seen uh, lately. Um, but uh, but we have we we have something specific in mind. Yes. Do you think it could be filming next year? Uh, I, I forgot to bring the schedule, Steve. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got it. Um, Marvel used to announce <laughs> evade. Uh, Marvel used to announce the start of productions. And I'm very curious, you guys still haven't announced like your Black Panther 2 cast or the some of the key 
uh, people that are working on it, whether it be director of photography or some of the other crew. Um, is that something that you guys have pushed? Like, is there a reason you're not doing these sort of start of production announcements or it's just, I'm just curious. Uh, that's a good question. And I don't know, I, I, now that you mentioned, I do recall we used to do that. I think we used to do that to sort of get ahead of, of um, uh, any leaks or, or set photos that could be leaked, things like that. I think we now realize, you know, people are gonna get pictures of whatever they wanna get pictures of uh, uh, if you're out in public. Um, but it, it's a good question. We, should, we could look into that just for you, Steve, especially yeah. with Ed 209 pointing guns in my face behind Exactly. You. I am very excited about Loki getting a season two on Disney Plus. Um, uh, do you know, do you envision that filming next year? And do you currently, are you talking to people about who might be directing and writing the series? Uh, it is it is, uh, it is. is underway. We're developing it as we speak. Uh, the hope is that much of the same team uh, will return. Kate uh, is, uh, is going on to bigger and better things. Uh, uh, so the director search will begin shortly. And I'm not being evasive. Uh, I'm, I, th we have a start date. I'm not sure exactly uh, where it falls uh, between uh, uh, next year or the year after. When will you be announcing Young Avengers? When will we be announcing anything in this world? Uh, uh, <laughs> is, we'll, have to we'll have to figure out. We just announced a release date for the Hawkeye series. Um, uh, so announcements... You know, we, we announced a lot of stuff last time we were on that stage in Hall H at San Diego Comic-Con. Um, and now we still have to make good on, on many of the things we've announced then. Do you think that Marvel will be going to more non-Earth planets after Guardians of the Galaxy 3? Yes. Anything you want to tease more than that? Uh, no, but I think, I think it was always something that uh, we were very um, anxious to do to be able to tell stories throughout the entire, it is called the universe after all. Um, and, and I think audiences now are very comfortable um, uh, going to, uh, to strange planets with us. So we, we certainly will continue to do that before, um, uh, before Guardians 3 and after Guardians 3. Uh, in the, uh, the Ten Rings will return. Do you envision this as a Disney Plus thing or is this more of a movie? Uh, it could be any or both. You never know when the Ten Rings could, could show up. The thing about Shang-Chi is that the third act could take place in almost a Miyazaki movie. It is really pushing where the MCU is. Um, uh, I love stuff like this. It, it just expands the universe. But was there any concern that maybe this is almost too much for some people that it's, you know, or do you think that after having a talking raccoon, the audience is ready for everything? Well, I think it's all in the execution. I don't know that any, anything is too, uh, is too far. We certainly never looked at it like that. There are other planets uh, within the Marvel Universe, as you mentioned. There are other realities. There are other universes. There are other dimensions. And, uh, and I see no reason not to, not to uh, explore them all if they can be part and parcel of an emotional story connected to character. And certainly Talo in the third act of Shang-Chi is exactly that. Um, and I don't think it's too much. The only thing that surprised me in, in early reactions, and I don't know if this has been online, but it was in some of the early screenings, a lot of the reference points, some people think there are a couple of Pokemon characters in there. They're not Pokemon characters, but they look like this. they are inspired by similar things, I guess, which, I, which, which took me by surprise. <laughs> uh, I'm out of time, but could I just ask you one other thing? Yeah. Uh, I am curious, you, you obviously early rough cuts of all the movies, obviously. And I'm just curious with the upcoming movies like, you know, Taika's Thor sequel, how does that movie, when you see a rough cut of that, compare to the last one? You know what I mean? Like in terms of, I mean, how does it compare and what was your reaction after watching it? It's very difficult to, to compare any first cut to a final cut. We usually compare them to other first cuts we've seen. Um, and everything is always rough. Uh, and everything is, by the way, I'm not even admitting I've seen the rough cut of Love and Thunder. Yet. But in general, you look for the promise that, that can be fulfilled. And we've been very lucky that, uh, that all of our rough cuts, no matter how rough, um, hold, hold great promise. I would be shocked if you have not seen many different things. Um, anyway, I appreciate you giving me your time. And I hope Shang-Chi is a huge, huge hit. All right, good seeing you, Steve. Thank you.